Hey guys, Mars Singing here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today, as the title suggests, we are going to be looking at the rarest Android 18 card in Dokkan. And that is, of course, no, not Jiro 19. <laughs> that is the Android 18, a new beginning. Uh, this is the 2018 login bonus card. So if you logged in on, uh, I don't know the earliest time it was given out, but obviously it was part of like the New Year's celebration. Um, I think over here in the UK, the reset is usually after midnight. So I think it did literally drop on the 1st of January. Um, but yeah, 1st of January 2018 is the release date for this card. Um, you know, Android 18, 2018, you see what they did there? Now, the interesting thing is the fact that they never really did anything like this afterwards again, which is kind of strange. Um, at the time that she released, she honestly wasn't that terrible. Um, she's an all-types leader for attack and defense 30%. I mean, you know, leader skills back in the day. I've talked about it before when I started up the game. One of the leaders that I used for my team for quite a while until I started pulling Dokkan Fest exclusives was like all-types key plus two. So things were uh, different, <laughs> was it six, uh, four years ago? Well, I guess to be fair, we are getting close to January, aren't we? So nearly five years ago. So her super attack is the Destructo Disc, which does supreme damage to the enemy. And then her passive, Shades of the New Year, is all allies key plus one and attack and defense 20%. And then she gets attack 8% per key sphere obtained. So I hadn't looked at this unit for so long until yesterday. I did tweet that I'd finished uh, link leveling her. And that's why I thought, you know, because I'm basically going through link leveling every single unit. But when I stumbled across this Android 18, the idea for this video was born. I was like, well, I'm going to link level her. Once she's done, we'll do a video. We'll call it the rarest Android 18 in Dokkan. And so here we are. But the one thing I didn't really notice until I was looking at her passive again today is that even her passive, as Dokkan often does with Goku and 559% and stuff like that, even her passive has the 2018 in it, essentially, because she gives all allies attack and defense 20%, one key, and then she gets 8% attack per key sphere obtained. Now she doesn't get any defense and she has no defense in her passive other than the defense that she's giving herself. So from the support. So as you can see, she has 68K defense and that is with uh, these guys on rotation who are giving what 40% and then we're fighting a super class ally. So these guys are giving, let's see, there's a super class ally that affects them. So all allies, yeah, they're giving 34% uh, attack and 16% defense. So uh, quite a lot of support on the rotation for uh, not a lot of uh, outcome. So <laughs> let's go ahead. We've got five orbs here. So let's see what happens. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he super attacks in slot two. I actually wouldn't be surprised if we just get one shot. <laughs> I mean, I came into the legendary Vegeta event specifically because it was a lower level of difficulty. Uh, now, this team, uh, they were both on turn one, but we are running the uh, double AGL Gammas. Wow, look at that. 699,000 attack stat. That is, uh, that is wild. And then 40k from a normal attack. <laughs> now, this is a unit being nearly five years old. Um, it just feels like another one of those units that, because it was like a trophy piece, I guess you could say, this unit basically has been, like, forgotten, right? Like, someone mentioned when I tweeted out the level 10 links uh, screenshot, um, somebody asked me, like, do you think they'll ever, she'll ever get an awakening in an easy A? And um, I would say probably not. It does feel like a unit that has been completely forgotten about, especially because it was a one-time login reward. So if you didn't log into the game for New Year's 2018, you don't have this card, and there is no way to get it. So, I mean, they have done it in the past, I guess. They could, if they decided to give her Awakening, it would obviously mean they'd have to bring her back. Um, I guess there's nothing stopping them from, at the end of one year, doing like a New Year's story event, which... Could literally just have a made, you know, completely made up like game original story, just a couple of quests, like just a couple of stages as a mini story event that could be about New Year's, like you know, them, the gang having a New Year's party or something like that. I don't know, um, and then she could be farmable from that event and then potentially get an awakening. But honestly, I don't really see that happening. 
Um, she shares four links with this AGL GT uh, Android 17, who is a support unit as well. So we've got a few more links active here. 67k defense. We've got less support, though, on the rotation. So if we do this, we can get a pretty decent amount of orbs here. Yeah, eight orbs now. I wonder, I've, we had so much support on the last rotation that I don't actually think it is possible. But I wonder if we can actually see her break a million um, attack. Can we actually get a 1 million <laughs> attack stat out of this unit? I don't know how many orbs. There probably is. There is a certain amount of orbs that we would be able to pick up. So we got to 900,000. And what was that? 8 orbs. So we need a little bit extra support. And then some more orbs. But I am floating off the tech androids. I keep getting all the units that I want to float into rotation with her. Being in slot 3 on the other turn. That's why I've ended up sticking the two gammas together for now. Um... Obviously not the ideal way to run, just have the two leaders next to each other getting no links, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, they're slowly but surely getting built up, though, from doing their attacks, although I think they're, yeah, their intro, they're on turn one, so this should be the last turn of their um, intro animation. And we should kill here, just with the amount of attacks that the Gammas do. So, Android 18 is on the 200% lead for the Gammas. Um... I actually didn't realise, and now I've looked at the list just before starting this video, but the reason she's on their team is because Androids is one of Gamma 2's 170 leads, and then their extra 30% is for Accelerated Battle or Worthy Rivals, and, you know, a lot of the time, people, me included, look at the Worthy Rivals category as essentially just, like, the Piccolo and Vegeta category, because that's who most of the units on that category are. Um, however, um... All of the super type Android 17 and 18s, which there aren't that many, because obviously we're used to the ones from the Cell Saga who are bad guys. But the couple from the Tournament of Power, um, the STR 18 from like the movie, uh, the Bio Broly movie, the one that has an EZA with the Goten and uh, Trunks. Um, and also the like STR free to play GT 18. So basically all of the free to play, uh, so, sorry, all of the super type android 17 and 18 units are on worthy rivals so um so if i do this can we get any more of these greens to connect we're not getting any support from the tech androids but we do have some extra links yeah i can still only get eight orbs here um so i don't think this is going to be the rotation where we can crack a million damage so obviously this showcase is just supposed to be a bit of fun you know this unit is not good is not usable at all in the in the current meta she's taken like 50k from the you know second phase of the legendary vegeta event so you're not going to be using her anytime soon but like look at the sprite and everything it's just it's funny to me that dokon hasn't done stuff like this again um you know, a lot of other games have seasonal characters, like they'll do Christmas units with like Santa outfits. Uh, Bleach, Brave Souls is one of the famous ones for doing um, like summer units where they're all wearing like bikinis and stuff. And I don't think Dokon would ever go that far, I guess, but as much as Dragon Ball, you know, has its own fan service in its own way. Um, but yeah, seasonal units, I think would be a cool idea sometimes, especially when they, when they brought out this 18. Um, obviously, it was just a play on the fact that it was 2018. But, you know, we all see in anime, especially like Slice of Life and rom-com animes and stuff, there's always that New Year's festival that the characters go to where they're, where they're all wearing kimonos, which is why, obviously, she's wearing a kimono. Um, I feel like they could have easily just done a... Um... Oh, look at this. We have to take one hit in slot one. We can get 12 orbs. And we do have the support from Jeroen 19. I think this is the uh, I think this is the one turn where we could actually break a million. Um, but she does have to take a lot of attacks, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. <laughs> uh, her start of turn defense, yeah, 67k. I say start of turn, she doesn't get any more. So, um, but yeah, I feel like they could have started doing that as a trend, like every year as the New Year's card. Just have one of the female characters in uh, a kimono as like the seasonal card. Would be buffs for the Peppy Gals team. And then obviously, even though they would be free units, because they're just given out as the New Year's login. Look at that. She dodged the super, though. Let's go. I actually will double check what uh, <laughs> what hidden potential I gave her. Because, uh, um, But yeah, I feel like that could be something cool, right? It's a free card they just give away for New Year's. So I'm not expecting it to be crazy busted, like best unit in the game. But kind of like this 18, a good blueprint for them is just to make them like a support unit. Um, give them some built-in dodge or something like that, and then, you know, you could potentially use them on some of your teams. Yeah, they're obviously going to be 
at that free-to-play unit kind of level where if you take them into the harder bosses in the game they're probably going to get you killed especially if they eat a super attack but it'd just be like a cool little uh thing that they could do right to give away these cards uh it just seems odd that she is the only one in the entire game that exists because like they gave out that str peppy gals card that you can't actually use they gave out the like group of cybermen some of them were like april fools some of them were for specific um celebrations and stuff but i think this is probably the only i'm trying to think now off the top of my head i think this is the only unit in the game that has like an alternate outfit that's not from the series at all that is specifically for like a celebration like any other gacha game this would be considered to be like the seasonal unit right for new year so it's very interesting that they've never done it again um it is very cool um we've already missed out on our opportunity now to get new year's kimono android 21 for 2021 but who knows maybe they could uh, do something like that in the future so oh yeah i gave her mostly dodge because you know what, <laughs> what else is she gonna do so yeah let me know what you guys think down below let me know if you are one of the people who does actually have this card um, like I said, if you didn't get this from the 2018 New Year's login, there is literally no way to get it anymore. Uh, hence the title, The Rarest Android 18 in Dokkan. So let me know down below if you are one of the people that does have her. Obviously, if you don't, you're not really missing much. But let me know your thoughts on seasonal units and whether you would like to see Dokkan do something like this again in the future. I think it would be pretty cool for... Uh, some celebrations so let me know what you guys think in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one